A lot of people think that in order to eat healthy, you have to spend a lot of money. It simply isn't true. Today I'm gonna to show you my favorite tips on how to save money eating the Mediterranean diet and wait till the end for some tips on how to save a lot of money on the Mediterranean staple foods. The traditional Mediterranean diet was a peasant diet. It was people who didn't have a lot of money. They didn't have money for processed foods, for meat, and so they ate most of their food off their own land. So grains, vegetables, beans, nuts, seeds, olives, olive oil, all from their own land. Nowadays, if you're buying many of those things like nuts and olive oil, it's much more expensive for us. So we need to talk about how to save money on those items. Also, remember to subscribe, comment, and hit the like button below. Tip number one, buy your food at an expensive store. Now, hear me out. I know it doesn't make sense, but if you go to some of the more expensive stores like Whole Foods or maybe your local food co-op, they have food in bulk. And this is an amazing way to save money and get better food. So you're getting food that's organic in most cases and it's super inexpensive. But the trick to this is that you go in, you go to the bulk section and you get out because if you go to the rest of the store, you're going to spend a lot of money. Tip number two, and this might be another slightly counterintuitive tip, is to spend money for kitchen tools so you can save money in the end. And so we're gonna go over some kitchen tools. Let's start with the crock pot. A crock pot is really good for saving time, which will of course save you money. Mediterranean dishes, Mediterranean recipes, a lot of them are things that are cooked on the oven for three to four hours, but if you do it in the crock pot, you just throw it in the crock pot and you're done. The Instant Pot. The Instant Pot is a newer tool, but it's basically just a safer pressure cooker. It means that you can make a lot of Mediterranean recipes in 20 to 30 minutes from chopping to being done. Food Processor. A food processor is a great way to save money because again, you're saving time. It's also a great way to save money if you have a lot of food and you're processing it to preserve it. A good Dutch oven. Now, Dutch ovens are super expensive. For example, this Crusade usually costs $350, but it cost me $3 at a tag sale. The thing that is great about a Dutch oven is that it makes it so that it cooks food very quickly and makes it very tasty. So you can make a really delicious, uh, like a stew in 30 to 40 minutes from beginning to end. By the way, I'm not being paid to promote any of these products, but if I were, these would be the products I would be promoting. And if you wanna see a full video on all the kitchen tools I use and how I save money using them, make a comment below. A blender is another tool that is crucial if you are trying to process a lot of food and preserve it in any way. So good tools are things like Nutribullet, Vitamix, and you can often get a lot of these type of items at thrift stores or tag sales. And finally, uh, what you store the food in is good, especially if you're gonna be, again, preserving it. It's good to have really good Tupperware as well as uh, mason jars and those are both going to save you money in the long run over things like Ziploc bags or other ways that you might freeze or preserve food. Have you heard the old saying it's not worth more than a hill of beans? Well it's actually a good saying when it comes to saving money because in the Mediterranean they eat more beans than they do meat and beans are much less expensive. So let's take a look at the difference between a hill of beans and a hill of meat. Beans are a great choice because they're full of fiber, they're really, really good for you, they cost less, and they're a great replacement for meat. So, buy some beans. <laughs> Tip number four is to buy food when it's in season and less expensive and freshest. For example, I like to get a farm share every year, which a lot of places have, and you can get fresh, organic, farm food for usually seven months for a small amount of money and then you preserve that food and you have it for the rest of the year so you save a lot of money that way. Every week when we go to the farm we get uh, sometimes 30 to 40 pounds of food. You're gonna need a bigger boat. And so we then 
preserve it by freezing it, canning it. Uh, sometimes we dehydrate some of the food and also fermenting. And then you have delicious, healthy, organic food for the rest of the year, even in the winter, and you're saving yourself a ton of money. Now I wanna talk about how to save serious money on Mediterranean staple foods. Now the first one is olives. If you go to a supermarket and you get a small jar of olives, they're usually pretty expensive. But if you go to a Middle Eastern store or some types of ethnic Mediterranean stores around you, you can save a lot of money because a lot of times they have olives in barrels and they'll sell them to you by the pound. So again, it's going bulk. Same with olive oil. Some places will have bulk olive oil, but you can also buy bigger amounts. Like you could buy three liters or five liter tins online and save a serious amount of money. Things like hummus, which is a definite Mediterranean staple, make it yourself. If you make it yourself, you save a lot of money and you can have it fresh, it tastes better, and you can make it for whenever you wanna have it. And then nuts and seeds, I get nuts and seeds when they're on sale and then I freeze them. They last a really long time and this gives you uh, the opportunity to buy different types of nuts and seeds for lots of different types of recipes and this way, you have whatever you want, whenever you want it, and you just go to the freezer, grab it, and you got it. Finally, feta cheese, which is another big staple. Same thing as with the uh, olives. If you go to uh, like a Mediterranean type store, they'll often have it in barrels or they'll cut it for you uh, in the deli. And usually it's a lot cheaper there than it is if you get one of those little tubs somewhere. So those are my tips for getting really healthy Mediterranean food for much less money. And trust me, there's always sales and you can find good items and make sure they're items that you can freeze or preserve or keep for a long time. And that's it, how to save money on the Mediterranean diet. I'll see you next time.